I guess I first heard of Point Panic when I was in high school. I was a kid living in suburbia, but in town there was Ala Moana Bowls, and there was Flies, and then for body surfers there was Point Panic. Point Panic is situated at the mouth of the channel entrance to Kiwalo Basin. I guess between, as you ride the wave closer to closer, you're literally going right into the groin or the breakwater or the wall right here. So between sharks and rocks, there could be moments of panic. Body surfing and handboards, no boogie boards, not supposed to have pipos, but every now and then they're out there and no board surfing. For the most part, the surfers get to go left here and the body surfers get the rights. It was through a lot of public hearings and uh, finally the rules were established that uh, Point Panic would just be body surfing and handboarding only. Well, I guess what makes Point Panic unique besides just being limited to body surfers and handboarders is that really sharp channel that they dredged out for access to Kiwalo Basin. And so the waves sort of peel right into that. You get a ride and then it's a real easy, smooth kick out back to the lineup in that channel there. And um, it's just another one of the dozens and dozens of great lakes on you know, Oahu's South Shore. So in the 1980s, early 1980s, uh, some of my high school classmates, Robert Pennybacker and Albert Rosen, we got together. I was living in lifeguarding out at the North Shore at that time and decided to document this, you know, body surfing in the early 80s and put out a really nice video called Waves to Freedom. It was just under a half hour, several hours of rough footage, most of it out at the North Shore but we did do one little session out here at Point Panic, and uh, it wasn't that great a day, but um, Point Panic in the early 80s, it's sort of a timeless wave. I love board surfing too, but I love the freedom of body surfing where it's just me and a pair of fins. I don't have to hang onto a boogie board or stand up on a surfboard. I love being surrounded and embraced by the water as opposed to sort of standing on top of it. I find the embrace of the ocean very relaxing and soothing and uh, nurturing for me. It's been a real long ride at Point Panic. I guess I've been swimming here well over 40 years. We're just so thankful and appreciative to have this sort of body surfing sanctuary. For body surfers around the world, Point Panic is kind of on the bucket list, definitely. We've had contests here, we've had contests at Sandy, Makapu, uh, out of pipeline, of course. Point Panic's on that list of great body surfing waves that you want to ride in your life.